Hi Capricorn, welcome to your What They Can't Get Over for November 19th through December 18th. <clears throat> Everything you need to know about this reading is in the description box below as well as the recommend reader shout out which goes to Miriam Kramer. Much love and support to her. Check her out. Whoopsie. Show her some love and support if you like what she has to say. This is intended to be a romantic love reading, but it may resonate in other areas of your life. And it doesn't have to be about what someone is being stubborn about and there's chaos and drama. This could be why someone has chosen to partner with you or why they cherish having you in their life because of um, there's just that special something about you that they can't get over, they can't find with anybody else. So, you know, there's that. All right. Capricorn. What do we got here for Capricorn? Six of Swords. All right. High Priestess. Could be Pisces or Cancerian. The Hierophant. Taurus. Oh boy. Okay. Three out of four. <laughs> Major Arcana. Holy cow. Wheel of Fortune. <clears throat> Three of Pentacles, the Tower, this could be Scorpio, <clears throat> Five of Wands, and Six of Wands. Okay. All right. So what do we got here? Oopsie. Okay. So <laughs> could those two fell out? Queen of Cups, that could be Cancerian, uh, and Seven of Pentacles. Hmm. In it for the long haul. Trying to decide based on your intuition and just feeling like, all right, I got to make some decisions here. What do I want to commit to? What do I feel strongly about? Okay, so what's this high priestess about? You know what? I think they want you to... Hmm... I think this is some, for the Capricorns I'm reading for. I think this is someone that is waiting for you to make the necessary changes. So um, you and they can start. I think they're, I don't want to say waiting for you to grow up. I don't, but I think they're, they're been waiting for you. They're waiting. We got two sixes here. There's frustration. All right. What's this high priestess about? Ace of Pentacles. What's this Hierophant? This is someone that's waiting for you. This isn't someone that bailed because this is someone waiting because they, you know, they're frust frustrated. What's this Hierophant about? For the Capricorns I'm reading for anyway. Nine of Cups. Oh, what's this Wheel of Fortune about? Page of Pentacles. Hmm. Is this is three of pentacles. Oh my gosh, Capricorn. <laughs> What's this tower about? Six of pentacles. So we have six of wands, six of pentacles, six of swords. Oh my goodness gracious. All right, some of you, you might just be like, oh God, what now? Because this could be somebody after they put up, they, there's been a lot of drama. They're coming back going, wait, I want to work this out. I love you. I've realized I love you and I want to work this out. So it could be that. And you're just like, no, no, let's just, you know, we're, uh, let me go. Let me leave. Divorce me. It could be that. Okay. Um, because some of you might just be like, right. but the way this feels this is, whether it's a good thing or not, this is somebody that um, they want to wait for you. They, you are the key to their happiness, basically. You, this is them, for some of you, okay, I'm just saying, for some of you, it could be someone that is calling your bluff, like they think, okay, okay, okay. They thought, you know, it's almost like playing chicken, like who's going to leave first? And you're like, no, I really am out of here. And they're like, okay, wait a minute. All right, okay, I'll change. I promise. So for some of you, it could be that. And that's not going to do them any good because you're already out the door. Like you're not in it anymore. You, you were not bluffing, you know. 
Um, for someone else, they're wishing things could be different for you, that life could be less he hectic and kind of impacted, but they, um, they are, they're wanting to wait. Bide their time and wait. This is someone that just feels like you're the bee's knees. This is five of wands. I feel like I've been reading this for a while. Well, the end is near though. You'll both be happy to hear that then. This is five of wands. Three of cups. This is six of wands. The Capricorn, which is six of wands. Yep, the hermit. <clears throat> so this is someone that, okay. <laughs> you got two people. Someone you're leaving and someone who is hoping you're making your way towards them. The thing is, the person that you're leaving does not want you to leave. They're, you called their bluff and they, they think that if they make some changes, they actually have a chance with you. Um, and the sad thing is they don't because you got someone else that is kind of hoping for this drama and chaos because they want there to be a finality to it, um, this situation, because there's been a lot of wishy-washy before. And so this, you got someone that is like, no, wait, wait, wait. And then you got someone else like, yes, stay the course for God's sakes. I've waited long enough. And it's not that there's been cheating, it's that you've been trying to work your way out of a situation and which someone doesn't want you to go. Maybe it's a job. Maybe it's your family not wanting you to move house or move out or what. I, but there's somebody doesn't want you doing this. They don't want you moving on. They don't want you heading towards better, calmer waters or a better situation or a better job or a better relationship. And so they don't want you to go. Um, and you've got someone else over here going, yes, come on, come on, come on. I've been waiting long enough. This is right. You know, it is. And this, whatever this is, it's not, um, there was no unfairness involved. It's not like this was an affair. And then someone's like, I won, you owe me. It's nothing like that. This is someone else that has had a 180. That's like, okay, I don't want you to leave now. Wait. And you're just like, wait, what? Are you kidding me? And because it could very well be that they were doing what they were doing, being difficult, dramatic, whatever, because they wanted you to do the right thing in their mind, whatever that was. So you got two people, two situations. Um, the first one doesn't want you to go. The second one's been waiting and they're hoping that this will just get blown wide the H-E double hockey sticks open so that there can finally be like this transparency about a situation. Like, look, Capricorn is done with this situation. He and I, she and I are an absolute unit. <laughs> and we're, that's what, how it's going to be. That's how it's going to be. We're all on the same page now. We're all, we're all aware. Finally. And then it gets to be this kind of just this stasis, not harmonious per se, but everybody's on the same page. Everybody's where no more secrets. So on the one hand, somebody's going to be really happy for this to blow wide open. Um, and the other person, when they find this is going to be such a shock because they're just going to be like, how could you do this to me? It's like, we've been separated or we've been broken up. There's no doing this to anybody. I'm living my own life. You don't want me to go. That's, you not wanting me to go, but I never led you on. I never told you that I wanted to stay. I, I was never unclear about where I stood with you. We, we were done. You knew that. I have something else I'm trying to move and work towards, and you made it very difficult, but you might as well know now that I have no intention of returning, and I'm doing this. This is happening. Um, get your mind right about it. <laughs> yeah. What else for Capricorn? Now is a lucky time. Your time has come. Not necessarily your time with the person has come, but everything is working in your favor. There's something about this, you moving on, that it is finally safe to do so now. There's something that has been decided. Was there a judgment card here? 
I guess not. Um, that has been decided that can't be undone. So if you're talking about the sale of a house, signing of a lease or a job contract or a divorce signature, whatever it is, it can't be undone. It can't be renegotiated. So you are clear for takeoff. You're clear to keep progressing and moving on. Um, but I don't think your, your situation, should I say, that you're leaving behind is going to be too happy about that. And they might stir up some drama in an effort for a reunion because they, they don't want you to go either. Um, this is not about you being clear to be with the other person. If that's what you want, yes, but you're not out of the woods yet. Um, you need to expect more drama. Just that there's some unfinished business. The other situation or person will make sure of that, but that's all they'll be able to do. They can't, the worst is over. The worst is over. Holy cow. Okay. Hmm. Wow. This has been a long time coming. I feel like I've been touching on this for a while. Back and forth, like off and on. What else for Capricorn? Capricorn. Disappointment. Um, maybe this is even the letdown because there's a finality to it. Hmm. That you need to be determined to keep going. Um, you might have days like this, but this is not the whole of the experience or and the, again, the worst of it is over. Now is the time where there's the letdown, the grieving, the processing, but you're still going to be progressing and moving forward. No backtracking. Did I do? I did that one. Okay. You've got a better situation waiting for you. And it's not that you, um, it's not that that's where you should land immediately. Take time to grieve and to process this. And, but just know that the worst of it is over and that your future gets to be decided by you now. Um, but there still is going to be some residual kind of, tentacles reaching out to try and draw you back in. Just know that. But as far as the situation you're going to, this person um, will wait for you. They have been waiting for you. They, the, that exactly the reason that one person doesn't want you to go because of the, the stable, um, hardworking, devoted person that you are, um, is exactly why your other person can't wait for you to finally land is because you two see eye to eye on that. Whereas it feels like the last situation, they weren't ready for you or they weren't like that. So there was this disparity, you know, inequality as far as you did all the work and they just kind of got to sit and be serviced. Um, or they didn't, they weren't, you two weren't seeing eye to eye on everything. They were, they were kind of a taker. Um, and yet your new person or your person you've been working towards, they see eye to, you both have the same, outlook and it's um they're just happy that you two finally get to be on the same page they've been waiting all right that's for capricorn oh, capricorn yay king of pentacles knight of swords finally finally unto yourself making your own decisions, if you're in charge of your future, staying the course, moving towards stability, and you, this time you're in charge. Not that you weren't before, but it was almost like before you kind of just kept your head down and kept plugging along. Now it's about you making the decisions and you're in the driver's seat now, as it should be. This is um, Virgo. This could be Aquarius or Libra or uh, Gemini. Either way, this is about you being in control being able to move towards the person that, or just move in general where you want to go now. You have much more freedom. You've been kind of liberated. There's something, I don't know what the heck happened. I don't know what it is, but it feels like there's something that is going to prevent you from going back or not going back, but that whatever was agreed upon cannot be undone or changed, even though the person from the past is going to try now or the situation, the jaw, something. 
But now is the letdown time because the worst is over, the drama is over, and now is the time to process and to grieve and still continue. You've got this waiting for you. you got, <laughs> but you can either slog through the emotions or stay here and grieve and then kind of walk over this bridge and get to your stability, security, and the next phase for yourself. Just saying. Either way, either path is valid. Either way will get you there. Some people grieve immediately. Other people take a more circuitous route. It's, it's going to happen and then you're going to be okay and then moving on. Moving forward. Much the wiser for it. <laughs> I think there's this with the Hermit and the Five of Cups. I think that's also too about you going, holy cow, it's been an ordeal. I just kind of want to sit here for a minute and let this everything wash over you because you've had to keep your head down for so long. Okay. All right. I hope this was helpful, Capricorn, and I hope to see you um, in the next reading. And I'm very glad for this because you're due. <laughs> you're due for that lucky time window of time. Um, okay, thank you for stopping by. You take care.